hello everyone and welcome um, this is uh, the video part of the 10 days of Laravel 5 series I've been doing on my blog and if you don't know what that is you can check in the description below for um, detailed explanation but in, in short what we're doing is we're trying to build a Laravel survey app so um, we've been going through how to use models controllers and we're now going to consider how everything fits together with the views in displaying what we have with the user so quickly we have the server running which um, can come up using php addison serve and when you open the app you should pretty much have something like this this is the home page of our survey app you actually have to log in first so after logging in you're able to view surveys and see their related questions and add new questions if you want so the entire process behind this from home page to create to viewing is what I wish to use this video to quickly explain in about a minute what is happening when the user comes to the home page for instance and the user wants to create a new survey what happens is we have this route which indicates what URLs should point to what controllers so this new URL we, uh, we are on currently refers to the new survey function in the survey controller so when we go to the survey controller we find our new survey function which simply returns a view other frameworks choose to call it templates like Django for instance but what a view basically is is what the user sees in the browser eventually so this returns a template a view which is called new in this folder called survey automatically Laravel looks for view files in the resources views then in a folder or something like that sort <coughs> so we have this new so within the survey folder it looks for the new template so it's basically called new.blade.php the template engine used is called blade so it automatically finds that and this is the view file responsible for displaying uh, the, 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 uh, the view for us to be able to send in a new survey item so when we check here that is what we're looking at right now when we hit submit this form is submitted to a URL create this create URL the word create will be will simply be appended to the current page we are on when that is submitted we are able to find what function in what controller handles that and that is create so this one it takes in a post request and then sends it to the create function on the survey controller the survey function has the create controller has the the, the survey controller has the create uh, function which basically does take the request incoming then adds a user uh, field to it user ID field using the currently logged in uh, um, user then it creates a new survey object after creating the survey object it is the 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 response of that creation it's saved into the survey item which allows us to access the ID on that and so we're able to redirect the user after creating a survey item to the detail page for that specific survey that simple it's uh, it allows you to write simple uh, templates uh, simple controllers to display simple stuff within your uh, your views so that is the trick I'll say trick I'll say the the shortest way 
to think of how to create a survey item it could probably be simplified better but um, this is just to explain how uh, one way of getting that done next we want to display everything every question we've probably submitted for a, a, a specific survey and that is possible when we look at the detail survey so when the user comes here we have this as the detail survey that is basically taking in the survey id passing it into this route then that route uses the passed in survey id to load the uh, respective questions created by the user in question so that is returned in a survey uh, in a survey variable then in our detail page we can run through the survey the survey object we have find the questions on them then iterate or, or run a for loop on that to retrieve the question title and all of that now you might be wondering what is the relationship we have between this survey and questions now remember in our article we talked about models and with models they basically refer to the interface be the interface uh, we interact with so that we ensure we are uh, uh, properly dealing with our, our database table so it protects the database tables to a great extent the models we also develop helps us to um, uh, determine the interactions we want and we develop the interaction that um, an answer can have can belong to a survey and can belong to a question a question can belong to a survey and can also belong to a user and can have many answers so you can see how the modeling is happening here then we have the survey which can have many questions and belongs to a single user and has many answers so that relationship the chain we did back here in the detail page we are doing survey questions that is calling this function so survey functions which jumps us into the questions uh, uh, model and in the questions retrieves everything related to that uh, survey that matches the currently locked in user that is what happened here so it's it's uh, it's referred to as the eager loading as in you anticipate what you're gonna need in your view then load it up front then when you get into your uh, your, your view file you're able to move around without having to incur any extra database hits because without eager loading what will happen is your four loops are going to hit the, the database per each iteration so if you have a million uh, uh, for loops to do um, as in you, you are treating an object with an array of say a million items it is going to run through every single one hitting the database a million times they consider that problem as the uh, one uh, n plus one problem where the number of loops you are going to do plus one that is the the actual request you have to do so to avoid that we use the uh, the eager, lo eager loading approach so here we have three items three questions related to a survey when this survey is loaded everything we need to display the view is right in here in the view file in the in the view so when we are doing for loops here we have nothing to worry about down here we have the radio buttons which depending on what we select from our drop down menu we see a different option that is because we have this 
layout file calling in the init.js which by default finds it in the public folder then this file is responsible for ensuring the uh, dynamic nature of what we saw earlier on as in when we change from a text area to let's say a checkbox we have options that is important because if you are doing a multiple choice questions you want to have multiple options so say um, this radio button can be true then we can add another one which is false or maybe anything I don't know then we are able to save it which allows us that flexibility that is happening because of this small snippet you are looking at right here so it basically finds the the radio button called with the id question type which we find here so this it finds the question type then if the currently selected uh, value within that select item that select tag is a radio or a checkbox do this so the do this is going to grab hold of the the element with the class form G then apply an HTML using this uh, snippet so basically that is what we're doing to have that kind of um, switches within our detail view so from start to finish that happens to be the process involved in building the Laravel survey app you might be thinking what happens when we submit something so when you submit a survey um, survey view when you submit this you can find where it goes by coming to the route we have uh, survey what view are we on we are survey view the ID 2 so survey view ID 2 view I'm getting confused looking at it right now um, good so this is the survey this allows us to view the survey so that we can submit it when we do submit that hits um, the survey completed uh, route and the post route takes us to the answers um, to answer controller store so when we get there we basically see what is happening as seen we have the request incoming like so then we run through the request takes the key value pair if the value is an array <coughs> we want to handle it separately than if it's a normal uh, it's a normal uh, key value pair so this value if it's an uh, it's an array we want to encode it using the JSON encode function there you might be wondering why do we need to encode it if the form submission incoming was uh, was from an element like um, or from the tag radio button or a checkbox they normally come in an array form so by checking that we are making sure that we don't hit this preg match whatever error that normally comes up so so that brings us to the end of our Laravel survey app we will be wrapping up in the article on blog.coffee.co so make sure to check out the ending part of the article I also shared a link to the repository where you can have a look at it yourself and play around with it and I'll love to see what you build out of that so um, thanks for watching check in the comments for the link to the blog article and let me know if you have any problems or any questions you have just leave them in the comments here or on the article on blog.coffee.co and I'll be happy to um, look at them and answer them for you thanks for watching bye